Well, it's been nearly a month since President Trump took office. Already a flurry of executive action, including an executive order taking aim at regulations on the financial services industry. Omaha's retirement strategist Daryl Bryant is here to boil it down and explain how it could impact your wallet. Daryl is one of the area's leading financial advisors, and he joins us every Monday morning to help us plan for retirement. Good to see you, Daryl. Hi, Daryl. Hey, one thing I want to talk to you about, you're from California, and they had the dam that was uh, near collapse, indeed. right? Uh, Orville Dam, the spillway, yeah, is about to give way. And if I were still where I grew up, uh, Yuba City, Sutter, uh, California, then I would be. That's uh, scary. It's a scary situation out yeah, there. I don't very know. scary. They said 30 feet of water uh, could be a big old, if, if it were to fail. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, so it's all it's over incredible. there. It's holding for now, so let's just hope that's the case. Yeah. Uh, so there's this executive order that focuses on two things. The Dodd-Frank, mm -hmm. uh, which was passed in the wake of the 2008 financial crisis, mm -hmm. and then uh, the Department of Labor law passed under President Obama. So there's yep. those two pieces. Yep. Kind of break each one of those down for us. Well, Dodd-Frank, first of all, uh, just a behemoth 24,000 page uh, you know, uh, set of rules. I mean, how can you possibly regulate that, number one? But it was aimed at, you know, all of these um, acts and, and uh, legislations, et cetera, all try, they have good intentions, you know, you know um, and to protect or whatever. But what uh, most of us believe is that Dodd-Frank has really caused a, it's just been a job killer because what it's mostly uh, done is cause banks to have to hoard cash. Their capital reserves have to be so ridiculously high they can't lend any money. Well, what does that mean? That means small businesses can't go to get a loan to expand businesses and a lot of businesses borrow money, you know, mm -hmm. to grow and, and uh, research and development, new employees, new space, etc. Well, you can't do that if the banks aren't lending any money. So uh, uh, the Trump administration simply wants to alleviate a lot. When he says regulatory, you know, rollback, et cetera, uh, and regulation, you know, reduction. That's the type of things that he, thing that he's talking about. It's not to say that um, the, this administration's plan uh, is to just throw that out the window and say, okay, it's a free-for-all. They have a uh, very specific plan already to begin kind of to off-ramp the Dodd-Frank mm -hmm. and, then, and then move in a new way of doing that, which would be much simpler. So that's one piece. The yes. second piece Mike was talking about yes. was the Department of Labor rule. Mm -hmm. What is it and then what's behind the pause? Okay, so the Department of Labor rule, um, where it affects my industry in particular is in terms of regulation and so forth and the requirement for, for example, advisors to be fiduciaries. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. that doesn't bother us in my office because we're fiduciaries by choice. We want to be a fiduciary so that our clients know that as an independent advisor, uh, we shop for them and we're trying to do what we would do if we were in their situation not just push a product another situation where the intention was fantastic in that we're, we want to um, they wanted to make uh, advisors fiduciaries so that they would have their clients best interest in mind as opposed to just pushing a company product mm -hmm. well you can imagine that that's going to be really, really difficult to actually enforce because, first of all, um, ha what are all of these advisors who are, uh, have to become fiduciaries and then continue to work for their company, whether it's a major insurance company like a MetLife, Prudential, Principal, PacLife, et cetera, if they're employees, well, now they're going to have to try to serve two masters, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They're going to have to try to serve the employer and promote product mm -hmm. and at the same time serve the client. Serve the client Okay, so it's just, it, it's not that it doesn't have good intent, it does have great intent, but uh, it does, um, it, like anything, we need a much simpler way of doing that, and so they're wanting to repeal that and simply rewrite that. It doesn't mean that they want a free-for-all, we just need to find a little bit better way of doing that. We're going to, uh, on the radio show this weekend, I'm going to have a, by the way, small bank, uh, Wahoo State Bank, mm -hmm. uh, President is Greg Hole is going to be on the show this weekend. We're going to break that Dodd-Frank mm -hmm. down and, and talk about what that has done to small banks. Uh, and their function. I love function. localizing yeah. that. Yeah, so yeah. that'll be fun. It, really, the impact to everyone else, specifically retirees. How does that impact retirees? And is this a good thing? Well, the executive I think, orders. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good thing. Uh, first of all, it's great for, in, in my opinion, it's great for the economy. The Dodd Frank uh, repeal because now we're going to start seeing a lot of money flow. Okay, we're going to free up some dollars so small businesses can grow. What does that mean? It means job creation and expansion. It's great for the uh, economy. Great for the market. Uh, what does uh, uh, the fiduciary rule do? Certainly. As in any situation, Mike, if you're a consumer, you're you're wanting to set up a retirement plan. 
Indeed, you should work with a fiduciary. That's what most people mm -hmm. ask when they walk in the door, and if they're if they're thinkers, they're going to say, "Are you a fiduciary?" And of course, we are, and you should be. Um, so, it's, if you're a, a near retiree and you're looking to have your retirement plan set up, in other words, you're getting ready to pensionize your assets, then what we want to do is make sure that you're working with somebody who is a fiduciary, make sure you're working with somebody who can shop stuff for you and really does math for your stage of life as you're getting ready for this, what we call life after the 401k, right? That's what it means to the, to, you know, you still have yeah. to be on guard. You know, mm -hmm. w yeah. there's an old old uh, thing my mom used to say, buyer beware, right? Uh, be careful what you're about to do. Well. In, important to shop and the first question I would ask anyways is are you a fiduciary and are you an independent advisor and, and then what are you going to do for me? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If you are sense. nearing retirement or already retired, chances are you've got questions about where you stand and how all of this could impact your retirement. Well, Daryl's office, uh, they book pretty far in advance, but he's always set aside a certain number of appointments just for blend viewers. Yeah, and the offer is good for the first 10 qualified callers. Uh, Daryl, you already operate as a fiduciary, like you said, so people can really feel comfortable about getting the best possible advice for their highest benefit as, mm -hmm. as a fiduciary. Yeah, and you should have uh, comparatives run, which we're happy to run for our clients and say, you know, here there are, there are many, many ways to skin a cat. What we're trying to do is find the best way. Right? Yeah, there's a number right there, 402-932-2141. You get that consultation to help you plan for really that successful mm -hmm. retirement. And Absolutely. And DBryantRetirementStrategies.com for more information. Thank yes. you, Daryl. Thank you. Good stuff. Thanks a lot, buddy. We'll see yep. you.